kid who grew up in Detroit, um, grew up on Motown, and just fell in love with hip hop when I was a teenager, and uh, just said to myself, you know, I want to move to New York and be part of that. You know, after after I had written about hip hop for many years, um, for a lot of the you know early music magazines, I went on to be a producer at. CNN and CBS and some mainstream places like that and I got to see, I started to see how they treated their archives. Um, they were very meticulous with their archives, they really, you know, held them dear and they referenced them all the time. So I started to think, you know, hip hop is now over 40 years old, so hip hop now has an archive, you know, it has this same visual archive that, you know, all the big news agencies and, um, you know, places like CNN or Magnum. Um, so I was like, where are all those outtakes? Where are all those contact sheets? So it started really more out of curiosity and wanting to preserve and like tell those stories behind those photos. Um, photos that I had had, you know, stored away in my mind from, you know, the early 90s and being part of a lot of those shoots. So, um, so I just started interviewing the photographers one by one um, and really having them dig into their archives, you know, shoe boxes, basements, closets, um, you know, some had done a really good job of organizing their archives already, but others didn't. Um, and so, yeah, just one by one started building this book. This is the, this is like one of those little Easter egg um, moments. At the very end, uh, we were a couple of shots in and Run makes it on the block. That's right. Run, run, run makes it on the block. block. And, yeah. and, and only Supreme Run fashion, he's the only person coming from Madison walking up. And he's like this. He's just walking. And everybody's like, run. Yeah. Run. And he's like, yeah, what's up? They're like, no, run. We're going to lose the main debris. <laughs> run. Like, run. <laughs> and I'm cracking up. I'm like, yo, he, he needs to run. He's like, I'm not running so I could trip and y'all laugh at me. Like, You know, while, while all the staff was really assembling and organizing the talent and the rappers at the church, um, I wanted to hang with the photographer. So I spent the day with Gordon uh, the entire day and I kind of broke the fourth wall. It took 20 years for anyone to find out I had a camera with me. I was lucky enough to be editor-in-chief of XXL at the time of XXL at the time, rather, let me get it correct. And um, I was captain of a really amazing team. I was uh, able to convince them we could do it. I was uh, astute enough to hire the amazing Ms. Leslie Lenore Pitts and Biff Warren to actually create the event and make it go. And uh, the idea of shooting Gordon Parks came from this handsome gentleman, Michael Gonzalez, but uh, <laughs> I was lucky enough to be able to uh, convince him to say yes. <laughs> and, uh, recently when Daytuan called me and said, yo, Sheena's got, she wrote an incredible essay, and you gotta publish this. And so we published it on the Respect site, we were two days away uh, from posting it. And, you know, Sheena said, we gotta get some photos, and I said, you know, I have a lot of respect for the for photographic community if we don't license the photos or get rights I don't know how in 48 hours we're gonna run photos and then I remembered I had the negatives in the drawer many of the images that you're seeing today I, I took that day when I spent the day with Gordon and it was it was a really inspirational uh, moment and opportunity and uh, I guess in my generation uh, when you're on the business side, I was known as the hustler, the relentless closer, the deal maker, <laughs> the publisher, but no one really knew that I had really uh, a creative side, and I kind of hid that for a long time. So uh, thank you, Vicky, for including me. In this. I think just, you know, this kind of looking at this kind of makes me sad because we need another one of these. I don't know if they'll ever be able to do that again. So it's kind of like, you know, it's, that day was so just harmonious. Yeah. Because you could be, I remember, I was talking to JD, I'm talking to Russell Simmons, I'm talking to Run, I'm, 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 I'm talking to Goody Mob, I'm talking yes. to Bun, I'm talking to people who didn't sell nothing, people who sold a lot, people yep. who was on their way, people who was not on, and, and it was just like, there was no levels that day, right? That's I don't right. think it was no, no everybody was it was no e egotistical level, because rappers, sure. we're the most ignorant, egotistical, <laughs> when it comes to egos, <laughs> Lord so have mercy. Love.
I'm still pinching myself that I'm even up here doing this. You know, historically, I'm not, I, I, I've never owned it that I'm a photographer, but I guess I take some pretty good photos. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, right out of there. Very, very excited to uh, gift this to the uh, foundation. Uh, Gordon was an amazing person. I was very blessed to get to spend that day with him, and I'll, I'll never forget it. It was one of the greatest days of my life.